Hey everybody, welcome back to Read More with Trevor. Let me just do one last check-in for 2021 on what I'm reading now. I'm gonna make this kind of a lightning round video and then leave it to you to kind of look them up and uh, and uh, call the library up, ask for reviews and, and what folks think. 16 horsemen, horses, 16 corpses of horses are found and mystery ensues as people who come in contact with these corpses uh, start getting sick. So really mysterious, uh, particularly like gruesome if grotesque premise, but I think Buchanan's onto something here. Obviously I was drawn to it when I was walking around and thought, well, hey, I, I feel like a thriller and pick this up. He's a first time author. Um, check it out, see if it's something for you. Uh, next, this one didn't get too much attention. It's actually published out of the UK, um, but I wanted to post about it here. King of Rabbits by Carla Neblett. Coming of age story about a young boy living in the projects and really just kind of coming into consciousness of uh, all the adults around him and the circumstances they face. Uh, this did get some acclaim in the UK and uh, just kind of thought, you know what, it'd be nice to see a little bit more working class literature represented here in the States. So King of Rabbits. As, as folks know, I do try to read books in translation. I was in the, I was looking up Russian novels, wanted to kind of find what, what are some more uh, Russian novels, not from the 19th century or even the, the uh, bulk of the 20th century, but very late, uh, recent, the past few decades. And here's one from the 90s by Benedict Irofiev, Moscow to the End of the Line. And, uh, you know, it's pretty short. I'm still in the middle of it, just slowly making my way. It is about a very inebriated man on a subway car and the sort of demons that haunt him and his thoughts. Uh, a bit Dostoevskian, Do Dostoevskian? I think that's part of the point. And uh, just something that kind of shows you uh, post post-Soviet Russia uh, in, in a harsh light, so. So there are the Dublin Awards, which uh, I have to say, SDPL proudly is part of uh, the participatory uh, process to select which books win that award. And I am on that committee, full disclosure. We are a diverse uh, committee of professionals with San Diego Public Library who each year read a bunch of titles trying to figure out uh, what, what's the title that we pick to step forward to be nominated for the title. And libraries all over the world do this for the Dublin Literary Award. So one selection we are looking over, I have no idea if it's any good, uh, still have yet to read it, but one that's come up among a few of the committee members is The Hole by Hiroko Oyamato. I know nothing about this book. I don't, I, I don't want to be cheesy and read the back of it to you in the video. So suffice to say, look it up. Super interesting. Uh, people I totally respect think it's great. So I'm going to give it a read and uh, maybe you'll hear about this one again in the future. Lastly, this is a writer I discovered just this year. A friend of mine uh, recommended her to me. Um, she has since passed. I uh, want to pronounce her name correctly here out of respect. Dasa Drundik. She is a Croatian writer uh, who... I, 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 what, what can I say? Um, like, what, it, what is this book Trieste about? I mean, there's a protagonist who is older. She is combing through photographs and art, artifacts of her life. Uh, and involved in all of that, the history of her family and friends and neighbors and uh, other citizens, the history of Europe, the atrocities of World War II and beyond, obviously Yugoslavia and the, and the countries in that region and the Balkans having uh, quite the history. And she is just so powerfully moving, uh, discursive, dreamlike, uh, subversive, uh, to me, I'll probably do a, another video just to maybe try to dive into her a little bit more. I also have her Belladonna, which is widely acclaimed. I think these are the two books she's most known for. I did read her posthumous novel, EEG, which I heartily recommend. Uh, just awesome stuff. And I, I can't think of an American equivalent of someone writing like Drunditch. And for that, you know, I may do another video on her. So that is what I'm reading right now. Uh, happy holidays and uh, let me know what books uh, you're looking over right now. All right. Thanks so much for watching.